just going to ask a couple of questions for our uh, graphic novel discussion group. Um, your work is very autobiographical, obviously, or maybe not so obviously, but it seems like it's drawn on real life experiences. What influenced you growing up that kind of translated into the comics later on when you started uh, getting a little bit older? Um, I think I think this one I started uh, when I was a teenager and we started to, to outgrow the Sabrina stuff that I was reading all my life. Um, I started realizing that my life was more exciting than the comics yeah. were because I was doing the whole punk rock thing, the whole lowrider thing, and I was going, hey, there's a lot of stories here. Yeah. You know? And so it just, it was kind of like Gilbert and I decided to uh, kind of challenge ourselves, like, okay, we're going to get rid of the rockets and the robots, and we're going to do normal people and make it just as entertaining. Mm -hmm. You know, we didn't know if it worked. But, yeah. Well, what, like, how old were you when you actually decided to let go of the superhero stuff? And what was it about superheroes that just turned you off at that point? Um, at the time, at the time, the whole, uh, I think the whole Marvel formula, where if you didn't draw your comics like Marvel, then you were the comics. Yeah. And that's that was going on a lot in the late seventies, early eighties. And uh, I just started getting other interests, you know, and, and I was discovering a lot of other kinds of comics, you know, like uh, the early heavy metal magazine was, was reprinting a lot of Mobius right, right. and Tardy and all these other, these other uh, artists, and, and so we just started to see more stuff, different variety. Was there a lot of and European stuff as well? Or? Yeah, yeah. And and, it, and also uh, it was kind of like uh, reminded us of, of going back to when we read comics as little children, when there was a more variety before the Marvel thing kind of swallowed up. It seemed like there was an excitement too with the black and white movies as well that you guys were talking about. Yeah, we didn't, we didn't know it yet because there was no there was no uh, alternative scene at yeah. the time, you know? Yeah. We, we kind of jumped into it right as it was started. And the whole black and white thing was all economic. Right. We couldn't yeah, couldn't afford color. color. Yeah. yeah. And um, so, I don't know, it just seemed like it was at a time in my life where I just wanted to see this. And I, and I, and I, I had some real personal stuff I wanted to do. Does the word vanguard scare you? Like, well, you know, you were at the forefront of a movement, you and your brother, and like all right, and a lot of those guys, you know, like even the uh, Eternals guys. You guys were at the forefront of a movement. Does it, does it, does it impact you at all? Like, like, can you look back and just say, well, that was just a time that I was making it, or you really have a sense of the impact of the broad? Well, think, thinking back, I, I just think, like, like really, we were doing something? You know, you know, because we were just doing the comics we wanted to do. And, uh, and then, but looking back at it, you know, people call me messages. Yeah. That's a pretty good feeling. Yeah, yeah. yeah. But, but, um, you know, so it's really interesting. Like now, I'm one of those old guys that was part of this movement, right? Thing, which at the time we were just trying to survive. Right, right. Your brother and you seem to have similar but different, contrasting styles. Like kind of almost complement each other when you guys were in books together. Um, any kind of competitive like street between brothers? Or is it very I've never butted head heads with Gilbert, mainly because knowing him my whole life, I know when to leave him alone. You know, I don't, I don't intrude on his work. He does on my own. You know, and when it comes together, somehow, just maybe because we're brothers, it yeah. kind of works. You know, just kind of works out. Now, because your work deals with uh, a great circle of women characters. How much of you is it there? Like, where are you, Ray? Are you Speedy? Are you, like, is there any part of you in the male characters, or are you more in the female characters? Because I know there's a lot of translation between. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, I would say Maggie and Ray are But, but as 
past the years in the past, they, they've taken on lives of their own because because I can't always follow my life. Oh, they yeah, yeah. I draw comics. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You know, how exciting is that? Do you do you see your work being translated into other media like film or digital comics or anything like that? Is that something that interests you at all? Or? Oh, sure. You know, I'd like to see it in a different form, in a different format, but. Um, Mostly, I just like drawing comics. It's, it's so personal to me, just looking at the drawing board, and the rest of the world is shut out. You know, it's kind of, I mean, till uh, anybody else. Right, right. Is it hard to let go for those other translations, do you think? Or? I mean, yeah, you haven't done it yet. Well, it's obvious I'm a control freak. <laughs> Yeah. Anyone who wants to put their foot in, I'm like, oh, and it is slowly. Just, you know, <laughs> so, with Girl from Hoppers, uh, which is what we're going to be discussing this one, um, the Death of Speedy is one of the major storylines in the Um Where did that come from? Like, was there a death back then that, like, as a kid you saw it, like, saw how it impacted everyone? There was a number of things, because. <laughs> When I'm asked about that, I'm like, I don't remember, oh, I know what I'm but I've been thinking about it, trying to think back. And, and uh, one of the things was, I was like, what? I haven't done the lowrider scene in a while, so I did create a story for it. Um, at the same time, uh, in the background of the story, Speedy started to see that he was super drunk and he was like, he wanted to be so I just saw his character slipping from there, and I just thought, well, why don't I get it into this, into this story? And then, also at the same time, I was, I was going through this thing where I, if I did, if I did a death and I would do a you know, I would, I would, I would show them, you know, that kind of thing. So, so all that stuff just came together into this one story. And Okay, I just got one more thing to do. Hey, Michelle, can you hear me on sketch for a second? About four years ago, I saw you in San and I felt well, really bad. You know bad. what? I'll ask you on Monday because uh, I and it like, seemed like you didn't want to do it, and I kind of pushed you into doing it. Yeah, sure. And it's one of those good pieces of art I've ever seen in my life. Look at the materials. No, but like you seem very hesitant to do it, and I feel really bad. So I want to apologize to you for like being too much. Again, it's one of those beautiful things I own. No, it's it's just it's just usually when I'm asked to do the naked thing, I usually get characters who say, "Can you draw? Can you draw naked?" And they come right, right. And I go, and I would say, "Okay," and then they go. <laughs> this is real personal. Right, you know, right. So I get, I get a little standoffish. Right. You know, I never know if the person just wants to keep drawing it. They want to live it as you're drawing it. Right, right. Oh, no, no. Um, anything you're reading now or anything you're looking forward to reading? <laughs> There's that. Uh, right now? Um, no, um, I'm, I'm so wrapped up in my own thing. I have to force myself to go look at things like this. <laughs> you know, if, usually if I buy something at a comic store, it's a Marvel like Marvel Yeah, as far as new stuff, there's, I gotta say, there's more to it than it is ever. Yeah, I think the history happens. Yeah, but just not on the way over here. Just, oh, man. I can't find the time for it. Well. I can't find the time for it. Focus on the question. Yeah, yeah. And so many artists out there now are doing things like that. In the old days, you usually had to find a plan or something. But now, it's a lot of people with their own slant on things, so everybody's different. Yeah, yeah. It's funny because like, there's more work now that's similar to the work that you guys were doing back then. And back then it seemed like it was like, uh, so so rare to yeah. see something so personal, but now everyone's doing it like, like something that personal. You guys, you guys started it. I think. Uh, well, let's be safe and say we were there yeah. while it was happening. <laughs> sure. All right, well, thank you very much.